topics and we are dealing with the topic variation and we are looking at this kind of variation called joint variation, joint variation. We go straight away to the example there. Aha, uh -huh. three quantities P, Q and R are such that P varies directly as the square of Q. P varies directly as the square of Q. And inversely, as the square root of R. Yes? Aha, uh -huh. part A. Given that P is 20 when Q is 5. And R is 9. Find P when Q is 7. And R is 25. So how do you go about that learner? How do you write that in short? P varies directly as the square of Q. That is Q squared. We have looked at direct variation. We normally write it like that. P varies directly as the square of Q. And at the same time, inversely as the square root of R. And inversely as the square root of R. So in joint variation, you multiply with the second part. Inversely. Inverse means 1 over the square root of R. Learn that that is very important. P varies directly as Q squared. And inversely. Inverse. 1 over. Remember? 1 over square root of R. And therefore here... You can multiply this side, you get Q squared over square root of R. Q squared over square root of R. Then, the next step, learn, just like we have done in direct and inverse, you replace this with equal to. And once you replace that with equal to, you multiply this other side uh, with K. And therefore, you end up with that, learn. So put this in mind because it is the one which will give you the connecting equation. So we go to here. You are told, given that P is 20 when Q is 5 and R is 9, come and substitute P is 20 is equals to K times 5 squared, right? Divided by square root of 9. You have substituted your quantities there. This would give us what? 20 is equals to K times 25. Square root of 9 is 3. And therefore, Lana, this gives us what? 25K over 3 is equals to 20. So, cross multiply. 25k is equals to, cross multiplying, you get 60, and so divide by 25, divide by 25, yes? So, what is your k? Your k, you work out with the calculator, and you get that the k is 2.4. So, Lana, after getting your k, you come and substitute it here to get what we call the connecting equation, and therefore... P, therefore, learn is equals to what? Your K is 2.4. Multiplying Q squared. Divide by square root of R. And therefore, this is the connecting equation. This is the connecting equation. Connecting equation. Then, after getting the connecting equation, you are told... Find P when Q is 7 and R is 25. So, find P when Q is 7. So, 7 squared and R is 25. So, you work out this learner. This is 49 divided by 5. So, what is your P? You work it out using a calculator learner. And you should get 23.52. Yes? And that should be the answer. Now, we go to part B, Lana. This kind of a question comes in KCSC exams. If Q 
blue increases by 20%, and R increases by 36%. Find the percentage increase in P. Find the percentage increase in P. Lana, we had the equation P is equals to K Q squared over square root of R. We had it uh, in part A. There. We start from there. You had this relationship. P is equals to KQ squared over square root of R. Now, you are told that Q increases by 20%. Yes? R decreases by 36%. Find the percentage increase in P. It is true, Lan, that if Q changes and R also changes, even P will change, even P will change. So what is the percentage change? Come and write, let the new Q be Q1. Let the new Q be Q1. And therefore, therefore, Q1 will be equals to what? Q1 will be equal to Q increases by 20. And therefore, the new Q will be 120% of the old Q. So the new Q will be 100% of the old Q. And therefore, Lana, the new Q is 1.2 uh, of the old Q. Yes. We go to R. We say, let let uh, the new R be R1. And therefore, learn, the new R will be equal to what? R decreases by 36%. It decreases by 36%. So, the new R will be equal to what? You talk of, because it's, it is a decrease, you subtract 36 from 100. So, 100 minus 36 gives us 64. You come and say, this, therefore, the new R will be equal to 64% of the old R. When it is decreased, you subtract 36 from 100. When it is increased, you add uh, the 20 to 100. So, the new R will be 64% of the old R. And therefore, Lana, the new R will be 0 0.64 R. Yes? So, after getting these two, yes, after getting these two, it means that, uh -huh, if the old relationship was this, the new relationship, therefore, would be, the new P would be equal to K, the new Q squared over the new R squared of the new R. You come and substitute this and this in this equation. Come and substitute them here. And therefore, we say the new P should be given by K times your new Q is this 1.2Q. And therefore, because it is squared, you square. Okay? We are substituting. Divide by your new R. Your new R is this. 0.64 R and there is a square root sign there. So learn the new P therefore will be equal to what? 1.2 squared gives you 1.44. 1.44. Then K, yes, followed by Q squared. Q squared. Like that, we start with the number. Then, divide by what? Square root of 0 0.64 is 0 0.8. And then you are left with square root of R. Then, multiplying square root of R. So, learn 1.44 divided by 0 0.8 will give you what? Using a calculator, it should give you 1.8. And therefore, it is 1.8. Q squared over square root of R. Yes? Now, learn, look 
at this part here. Look at this part here. This part here is your original P. K Q squared over square root of R. This is the one. And it is P. And therefore replace this with P. So you write, what do you write? You write the new P therefore is equals to what? The new P will be equal to 1.8 of the old P. Good. Therefore, Lana, the new P is 1.8 times P. How do you get the change in P? Therefore, what is the change in P? The change in P is given by the new P, which is that, minus the old P. Okay? The new P minus the old P. And therefore, this gives you what? You subtract, you get 0.8 P. You subtract, you get 0.8 P. This is the change in P. So, learn what is the percentage change in P. So, percentage change in P, learn Percentage change in P is therefore equal to what, learn it is equal to the change, which is 0.8p, right? Divide by the original p. Divide by the original p times 100%. So this and this cancels out, and therefore this gives you 80%. So the percentage change is a positive if you look at this. When it is a positive, it means the quantity has increased. When it is a negative, it means that the quantity has decreased. Now that it is, is a positive here, you write, therefore, P increases by 80%. P increases by 80%. So, learn, go and practice on joint variation. Such questions come in exams, KCSE exams, carrying 10 marks. So all the best, Lana, as you practice joint variation. Bye-bye.